Praise the Lord. I welcome you again to Dominion Network. It's just a joy in my heart. Uh, you inviting me to your house uh, to share the word of God with you. And I believe that as we share in the word of God, you go to the next level. I'll be sharing it with you, making your royalty a reality. That is making your dominion work on the earth. Now, one thing I want you to understand, beloved, is that every believer must come to an understanding that there are things that got changed the moment Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Many times people don't know they still work in religion, they work in uh, their traditions, but something happened. The government of this world have been transferred to the hand of the last Adam from the devil. He's no more in charge. He doesn't have any right to say a word here. I was looking into God's word. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 11 and verse number 15, the Bible says the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of God and his Christ. And he shall reign forever, not for some time. Now, this kingdom is the one that brought joy, peace, righteousness, power, fruitfulness, dominion to subdue anything. The dominion over everything on the earth is now in the hand of Jesus Christ. The scripture tells us in Colossians chapter 1, verse 16 to 17, it said, For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominion or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. So, Everything is getting his identity in Christ. So, if there is anything that is not in line with the word of God, every child of God has a right to say no. Because the moment you are born again, irrespective of your position, your uh, color, your race, it doesn't matter where you are coming from. Irrespective of how much people you know, you are legally transferred into the kingdom of God and you have every right as a king in the kingdom to rule. If anything is allowed to rule, you don't put that blame on God. And you need to take your place because God has given you the right. Now see this. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 5, in verse number 10, the Bible says, He redeemed us from every tongue and every language and He has given us by His blood to reign on earth forever. We are kings and we are priests to reign on the earth forever. But the challenge is, I have found that many are still living as slaves. People are oppressed, sick, poor, and marginalized. Why is this thing happening? After all, God has spoken. And we know that the word of God don't fail. I discovered this, that people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. It's not because the devil is getting more terrible. It's not because he has more power than you. But because he's using your lack of understanding of the truth of the word of God to do all his work. The moment light comes into your life, the devil becomes a dummy in your hand. He becomes a toy in your hand. Now watch this. If you are going to just operate at your level of dominion that God has given to you, then number one thing you must know. Take off the break out of your life. Take off all the limit. If God is not saying it, then it's not real. Nobody can slow you down. Nobody can stop you from growing. Nobody can stop you from manifesting your beauty without your permission. The enemy is looking for your consent. And he will do anything and put pressure on you until you allow what he's saying to sit down in your heart. The moment you say no, he takes off his hand. Because you are created to subdue him, not him subduing you. God gave you dominion. He doesn't give dominion to the devil. He doesn't give dominion to sickness and disease. Now, you need to come to a place of violence in your spirit. Now, you begin to speak your life. Speak boldly into the situation that confronts you. And let the devil know that you know who you are in Christ Jesus. Now, majority of the time, we are always thinking God is expecting us to do one thing or the other so that he can do what he wants to do. No, how what God is asking for you of you is to cooperate with him. You are already seated. Now, that is not an advice. That's a decree. You're already seated with Christ Jesus 
in God, in heavenly places, far above all principalities and power. Now, you are the one that is having the control nozzle to change whatsoever is happening because you are in Christ. Not because you're smart, not because of the people you know, not because of your academics, not because you are religious, but because you are in Christ. Take the advantage of you being in Christ and root the enemy out of your destiny. I speak to your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever is holding a grip over your destiny, I command by the authority in the name of Jesus, lose your hold over these ones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe next time when we talk, you'll be sharing your testimony. Jesus is alive.